Carl was the checkout clerk at the candle store. We talk every time I went in there, not whole conversations, you know, snippets of our lives. How do you do's and how are you's? Carl was very passionate about candles. He used to tell me how certain scents like citrus brighten a room and others like cinnamon make it more inviting. And then one day he invited me to the park and I couldn't think of a really good reason to say no. At that point, I still liked parks. It was raining and when I got there, he had strung up this tarp between the trees and lit a big circle with candles he had stolen from the candle store he worked at. And he played Frank Sinatra's All the Things You Are off a small crackly portable speaker. And we danced under that tarp in the rain, surrounded by cinnamon scented candles. And he kissed the nape of my neck. He kissed the bridge of my nose. He kissed my eyelids. A few days later, when I hadn't heard from him, I went back to the candle store and the owner told me Carl had died in a terrible candle fire at his apartment. I swore I'd never fall in love again. I became afraid of loving someone. And then I found out that I was pregnant. And I decided to risk it because I couldn't bear the thought of being alone forever, slowly but surely killing off everyone I ever loved because people are easy to fall in love with if you're not careful. You know, you really have to focus not to love. So I locked myself in my apartment for nine months and it was safe and good. And I tried not to think about the baby or name the baby or love the baby tried to learn to like something rather than to love it. I tried to think about it, about her. More like a companion, like something you'd have around the house, like a butler. And then I thought about things that were the opposite of love, about terrible things. I thought about torture and rape and war. I thought about plague. And then I held her for the first time. When I looked into her perfect eyes and her tiny fingers closed around my big ones, I couldn't. I couldn't. I loved her as soon as I held her and then it was too late. They said she was just born too early, but I know it was me. I know it was because I loved her. So you, you can't blame me for wanting this. You can't judge me for needing it. Someone said it takes more courage to live than to die. So I guess I'm not very brave, but what is the point of living if you can't love?